As parents, we should be growing with our children. Our families yeah. help one another. And That's when right. we are unable to enter into marriage officially, it's a sign that we are actually afraid of that commitment. Mm -hmm. right? Why say, is it I, I don't. I don't want this to be happening, uh, you know, in Singapore. Uh, what used to work doesn't work anymore. Hi, welcome to SG Now. I'm Shada Harrison. Always good to be back in the studio. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that I'm um, I'm passionate about and I also really want to discuss. It is about the challenges of raising a family today in modern Singapore. So you can see why I'm a bit nervous because yes, I want to start my family but not sure if I have the money yet. So the best person to discuss this with me today in the house is Siti Joe Carson. How are you doing? Very good, Shada. Very good. Yeah. So, the last time I met you was for our sports episode. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Are you excited to talk to me about family today as I am excited to talk to you about it? Uh, <laughs> not entirely excited. There are a lot of challenges to, to share with you, uh, but uh, let, let's make it work. Okay. The, yeah. Your whole tone is actually making me go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have two very special guests in the house today. We have Mr. Yuan Chi On. Can yeah. I call you Chi On? Yes, please. Okay, yeah. great. And we have Miss Alvina Chin. That's correct. That's right. Yes. Yeah, so please, you are a dad for life, yes. and you are a mum for life. For sure. But this word for life is also a little bit more to that, right? So mm -hmm. can you um, give us both an introduction about yourself? We'll start with you, Elvina. All right. So Mums for Life is actually a ground-up movement. And um, it's, it's what we do with Mums for Life or what Mums for Life is about is we celebrate a woman's uh, unique identity. I think you can relate to that. Yes. And of course, our irreplaceable roles as daughter, wife and mother. Um, of course, we have multiple roles, but I would consider these roles as... Um, one of those roles that have a lifetime sort of impact on uh, those around us. That's really nice that you say that because I think one of the fears that I have mm -hmm. becoming a mother is that I'll only ever be a mom mm -hmm. and where is the rest of my identity? Absolutely. But we can talk a lot more about that later. Sure. Uh, Chi on, tell yes. me about yourself. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, that's for life, likewise, also a movement. It was actually started by the government, but it's since been taken over by Centre for Fathering. So we uh, actively promote the idea that a dad, the day you become a dad, you need to be actively and involved in your child's life for life. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is all giving me, like, making me feel very warm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as nervous as I was, you know. <laughs> That's good. So family is really the centre hold of, in a large way, Singapore identity, right? Mm -hmm. Even our public housing system is really based around the family. Mm -hmm. I know this because I'm 35, but only now I can get my single HDB. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which you don't, you don't need to. Which I don't need man. to if I get a family. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we're celebrating the year of the Singapore family this year. Mm -hmm. So it's That's quite right. an important year. Uh, Carson, you went out and about and you had some fun time with the family. So let's find out. Check out what Carson got up to. I was looking to do something magical with my son during the school holiday. I found something called the Magical Secrets of Ballastia. Not only do we get to learn about Ballastia, we get to enjoy some magic too. I find out more from the organiser, Mr. Wee Kian Ming. My name is Kian, a lot of people know me as Mr. Bottle. Uh, I'm 43 years old this year and I'm a full-time magician. Ballastia is a very interesting place named after Joseph Ballastia. Um, actually, a lot of Singaporeans didn't know that there are a lot of hidden gems other than food right here in Ballastia. There are lots of secrets that you would know about. But the more interesting thing is that I combine traveling with magic, magic which is my passion, together. So along the way, uh, adults and children alike will see magic and I do have interactive stuff like games, puzzles. There'll be riddles and questions along the way. Feel free to answer them. There'll be points awarded to each team. I know uh, Daddy over here. Where there's food. Show everyone, show everyone. 
From the start, it was clear that there would be a lot of walking. I was not feeling well that day, but I did not let it stop me from spending the special day with my kids. We were divided into teams and competed for points with other teams, for solving puzzles and answering quiz questions. Being in the same team helped us to bond as we put our heads together to figure out the best answers together. The magic throughout the walk was delightful. With each routine that Mr. Bottle performed, I was asked if I can do the same. This kept us in conversation as figuring out Mr. Bottle's magic was like a puzzle to us. <laughs> what if I break it? See, everyone looks at the puzzle and never look at the road, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Very nice. Well done. Yes, correct. I noticed that Mr. Bottle had a soft spot for kids. I confirmed that he is daddy to young children at home. I didn't know Ballastia had such a rich history. Not only did we get to experience the sights, sounds and the stories, we got to remember these through some very good magic. Okay, so that was great. That was like a lot of fun. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. I wasn't feeling too well that day. <laughs> you know, I, I ate something wrong. But uh, you know, when, when we first started, I, I was telling myself, I'm not going to let this uh, stop us from having a great day. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. So uh, whatever it took, I, I, I went uh, for that nice long walk. Oh. Yeah. So learn learned a lot about Ballast here, uh, saw a lot of great magic. And, uh, and my, my kids had fun. I think the, the best part is that we had a, lo a lot of conversation. Right? I think it must be really fun that their dad is a, mu uh, is a magician as well, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, how fun. It's rare. Yeah. It's rare, right? <laughs> yeah, it's so, so speaking of that, what are some of the core values you have when it comes to, to raising your family before we dive into the discussion with mm. Alvina and Chion? Actually, for, for me, uh, the... the I always tell my kids, you know, your today starts yesterday, last night. So how you feel today, it, be, uh, it depends on how you prepared yourself the night before. So uh, my other philosophy basically is uh, be on time. There are circumstances where that could prevent us from be being on time, but uh, for me, I, I'm always early. So even if I'm late, I still manage to come on time. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Really but uh, <laughs> basically, that philosophy just kind of reminds us, you know, life is not all about me. Yeah. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It mm -hmm. involves other people. Well, let's open up yeah. our discussion to both Alvina and Chion about, mm -hmm. about family values. Right? I was reading a few articles, especially a family of eight. And uh, I'm like, what? <sighs> to my millennial mind, that's ancient. Mm -hmm. no, no. <laughs> I think I might get slaughtered for saying that. <laughs> but I'm like, family of eight? Like, I was saying to you both before we started this conversation, mm. for me and my generation, right, the millennials, it's... What did I say? It's two or one or none children, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I haven't even <laughs> thought about family values yet. But a family of eight, I was reading in this article, from the age of two years old, each child already is learning how to do the chores in the house, mm -hmm. which is spectacular to me, you're right? Yes. So what are some of your family values, Elvina, that you instill into your family? Wow, okay. Uh, family values. I think a lot of the times... Uh, sometimes you don't realize uh, it does come about and you see how you know the children are like and their personalities but I think I can relate to this example that you're going to you just shared um, mm -hmm. uh, a family helps one another and that's one of the values uh, that is expressed by helping out with chores at home helping with homework you know looking yeah. out for one another those kind of things and that's where uh, we see those values coming out and I think um, when you start them from a very young age, it becomes a very natural part of who they are mm. and how we operate as a family. So families yeah. help one another. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thank you. Chiang, what about you? Um, well, my kids are grown up now. They're, they're adults already. So it was a long time ago already. <laughs> but I think um, the, the, the key problem is that 
too many families or parents, they, we do not even intentionally um, set down mm -hmm. the values that we want our family to live by. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That would have been the case for me because even though I thought I was a good father, I really missed out on many things because nobody taught me mm. how to be a father. And, and so one of the things uh, we encourage families is that you, you should talk it out with your children and agree to a set of values that we can all subscribe mm. to. Mm. And that way we can help each other to live it out. Uh, as a family, you have no more than four to five mm -hmm. and everybody agrees to it. Mm. And, and you come and you, and you live it out. You, you then showcase and with the father at the lead is how do you showcase if you need to show respect as one mm -hmm. of your values then how do you show it so you need to model it then for mm -hmm. the rest of the family and that's that's the fun thing then when the children can catch us say hey dad you said you're supposed to model this you're supposed to respect this and you're not Oops. doing it Oops. Yeah. but that's then become a teaching moment say oh yeah. okay sorry dad made a mistake mm. uh, yeah I, you're right i, I mm -hmm. shouldn't have done that I'm sorry about that. The next time now, I won't do it again. Mm. So that reinforces um, yeah. the learning for the yeah. value. Mm. It's very interesting that you said no one taught you how to be a father, right? And uh, we'll just go into what happened over the past two years of COVID, mm -hmm. you know, the isolation, but also the opportunity to be with your family members, no choice, la, mm -hmm. you stay at home, mm -hmm. right? right? So it brought about a lot of people having family dinners together, spending time mm -hmm. together. So it showed the great strengths of familyhood, but it also, you know, uncovered weaknesses. And, you know, no one taught you how to be a father. And I'm just looking at the gener and but yet you built all these family values. And with the generation now, and I suppose it's my generation, the millennials, mm -hmm. a lot of them, well, a lot of us don't want to have the same family values mm -hmm. or want to have children. Do you think the values are changing then from generation to generation? Um, I think, of course, um, over time, um, culture mm -hmm. and, and things does come in to shape um, how we think. And sometimes, of course, uh, popular culture <laughs> uh, would tend to exaggerate mm -hmm. the problems of parenthood mm -hmm. and while they tend to negate the joys of parenting. Mm. And so, yes, I would think that is a challenge right now, which uh, we at uh, That's for Life and Moms for Life would, would have to try and, and reverse mm. and hopefully then get it back onto the right track. Yeah. Mm. What are some of these um, challenges, Elvina, that mm. you face with some of the generation my age and below, I suppose? <laughs> what I can say the challenge is moms are really, it's, it's about modern motherhood. You know, and the idea is that I have uh, to do everything perfectly well. So I have to be, uh, I have to be great at my work. I have to be great as a mom. I have got to be awesome as a wife. So these are some of the challenges I feel for this generation. You know, it's a kind of you want to do everything well all the time, mm -hmm. and at the same time, it's never enough, mm -hmm. or you're never doing it well enough. So I think that's a lot of pressure in terms of the challenges. Right, right, yeah. right. And, and, and your children needs to be great too. Oh, <laughs> I mean, those yes. are pressures uh, which generally is unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is what it is right now because yeah. of uh, social media and so the oh, yes. accessibility of so much uh, information and yeah. everybody highlighting the, the good stuff. Yeah. Only. 